Right, we're going to make the bars up now on this uh, Bristol engine and see what it's going to tell us. Um, we're going to travel up and down the bars gently and see if we can find any lower eye spots. There'll most likely be a wedge towards the bottom. Just travelling down there now, the gauge should start to rise at any minute. Yeah, there he goes. Yes. yes. And he's dropped off the bottom. Um, that means that the bars are tapered in this engine. We've noticed some rather hefty pitting on um, two of the cylinders. Um, too deep to even rebar. So now we're considering fitting new liners to this engine. Um, and then boring it out to a standard um, cubic capacity. So it keeps in keeping with the engine. Um, we're going to have a fair bit of work repocketing the new liners after they've been fitted um, for where the valve pockets, where the, the valves um, strike out. Um, obviously we're going to have to make these clearances so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this all turns out. Um, after we've put the liners in the block we're then going to deck the surface to make sure it's all true and flat because um, these blocks are pretty famous for warping we've heard. Um, before all that, we're actually going to fit it onto the pressure test bed and um, pressure test the, the cylinder block.